So we want to look at learning outcome one, which is be able to identify personal and professional development requirements. But before we do that, we have to look at ourselves in situ. So like currently revise what we're looking at. So the best and easiest way to do this is to complete a SWOT analysis. So a SWOT analysis is strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. OK, so what are we looking at in terms of strengths? So we're looking at. Um, I'm, you know, you're competent in your role, your experience in your role. Um, your ability to work with others, your um, patient or client management. And then start to add the other things that you are able to do within your workplace. And the list can be as long or short as you want it to be. When we're looking at weaknesses, not a word I would particularly like to use. However, what we're looking at is, um, for example, your this level three in management, diploma in management. So currently you don't have a qualification in leadership and management. Um, and then look at maybe people who you work with. So what do they do that you don't do? What are you nervous about? So as you know, from discussions when we you were in with me, I don't like Excel at all, can't stand it. And so that would be a weakness for me. Also, uh, my ICT skills would be a weakness for me. So what we're looking at is just a, a, an honest, but not too demotivating um, version of what we would like to be able to do or what we have accepted that we don't, our brains just don't work with. Okay, so that's the kind of things that we're looking at. Opportunities is where we're looking at the potential to do this qualification. Um, we could look at maybe shadowing someone within the organization. We could look at shadowing our managers. We could look at um, asking for additional responsibilities. Um, you know, if there's career opportunities within your workplace, that would be great. You know, put those down as opportunities. Is there an opportunity maybe to go on to uh, a different level three or a level four or a level five are those things that you're looking at? In terms of threats, we are generally looking at the things that will stop you being able to do the things that you want to do. So, for example, in the industry that you both work in, or most industries, to be fair, time is generally the biggest obstacle. So time, we, you don't have time to do all the development um, activities that you would like to do. You know, an activity, a, a development plan is really a wish list of things that you would like to do. And the threats are the reasons that you can't do them. Um, opportunity, sorry, strengths and opportunities are the things that you would like to do or the weaknesses will be where the opportunities come in and the threats are those things that will stop you doing those. So generally, um, it is time and cost. Um, so it will be that you would love to go and do a week course in prescription management or something of those natures. But the re reality is that even if you did have the time, the likelihood that an organization would pay for that because it's not directly within your remit can be reduced. The other things we're looking at when we're looking at threats is, um, you know, it could be demotivation. It could be that um, you guys are currently within or maybe within the union strikes. Um, it may be that because the government won't increase the pay gap that, you know, the last thing you're going to do is develop yourself within that organization. 
It could be that you don't have management buy-in. So what do I mean by that? I mean that your team leader and managers or senior leaders or senior leadership team just aren't really that interested in developing their staff. And look, this is a, a realistic thing. You know, you don't have to put it, you know, your employer's not going to say your, your, your assignments. Um, but we will be careful in terms of what we put in that's relevant. But also I want you to think about what do you want to do? You know, what are the opportunities that you would like to um, to fulfill? You know, what what are you good at? What have you decided it is just not for you? Where can we fill those gaps in? And that's what we're looking for in terms of being able to identify personal and professional development requirements. Also, if your confidence is a wee bit low, if like me, you get a wee bit socially anxious. If um, you are someone who likes routine and you struggle with that in terms of having to do too many things at the same time, although I doubt it within your organization at the minute, you will obviously be very good at that. So this is the kind of things that we're looking at in terms of SWOT analysis. So that's a fancy word for it. SWOT analysis. You could also look at, you know, legislation, RQIA. What are we looking at in terms of, um, you know, do they change the rules? Is there new policies coming into place? Is there new things that you will have to know? Have they decided that you need to have a level four, for example? You know, these are the things that we want to look at and add in here. On your second, which is your learning outcome two, be able to fulfill a personal and professional development plan. Now I am going to provide you with a template for a personal development plan. And this is where we're going to use the opportunities and the other areas that we will discuss between ourselves into short-term goals, medium-term goals, and long-term goals. And we're gonna specify those, i.e. we're gonna state what the goal is, what the activity is. We're gonna state the cost, the time scales, and most importantly, why are you doing it? It's called the rationale. So why are you doing it? You know, we're not just gonna pick lots of activities and put them all down on a sheet of paper. We want to know why. And sometimes that can be a little bit like, um, that the thought process is there before you've realized it. So you're a step ahead of yourself. You're subconsciously want to do that. And what we have to do is step that back a little bit. And we have to realize that this is the areas that we want to um, develop and why we want to develop. And it can be as small as watching you know, a webinar or reading a podcast, or I will put additional materials and um, articles up on the Padlet, you know, and you can use those as part of this. Our second one, our th sorry, our third learning outcome will be, be able to maintain the relevance of a personal and develop and per a professional, personal and professional development plan. So what we want to do is just monitor it over six months and inevitably things will change. Um, and we have to make sure that that document is a working document. It is not uh, sort of that we type it out and we put it in our folder on our laptop and we do nothing more with it. So this is where we want to keep amending it over the next six months. So this is the first module and you will fly through it. And I am right here to help you with anything that you need. Your second module here is managing individual development in the workplace. So your first learning outcome here will be able to carry out professional appraisals. Your second learning outcome will be to 
support learning and development of your individual team members. And introduce, explain and plan assessment. So they're easy. All we wanna do is gather evidence that you carry out performance appraisals and that you support others in their learning and development within the team. If you're not responsible for that at the minute, don't worry. We can absolutely put that together between ourselves and look at if you were in charge of it, what would you do? The theory behind this. And then what we will do is we will contact your managers and we will gain or try to gain some experience in that area. So there are going to be your first and second module, which is great because you didn't, you're nervous, a wee bit concerned, but listen, these two modules will be ongoing documents and we, we're going to make sure that they are there and we are working together on them. So I'm going to take a break for now. I would I'm going to be online, so don't worry. But what I would ask you to do is start to put together your SWOT analysis, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, and start to put together a personal development plan. I will give you templates for both of these. Just start attempting it. That's all I'm asking at the minute personal development plan and a SWOT analysis. And I would like you to work on that until half past 10, and then I will come online and we will discuss uh, how we've got on. So I will see you in 25 minutes. Is that okay, Sophie? Yes. Kelly, can you hear me yet? <laughs> 